Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and slightly used boots are available easily on eBay, shopgoodwill.com, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and so much more. So it's fun to keep an eye out for some cool old styles that you really just don't see very often anymore. And I found this old pair of Nakona boots on shopgoodwill.com. It's got a J-toe as well, and it's got some features that are different from the more modern Nakonas. So let's go over some of the features with a quick impression of a used Nakona boot today. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. It's a lot of fun for me to shop for slightly used boots online just to see the differences in builds between like older models of the same brand. Also checking out new to me brands a little bit more cheaply. And it's just really fun to become more familiar with all of the different styles. Nakona is one that I'm very familiar with uh, being <laughs> one of my favorite old boots. The old vintage Nakonas are incredible. I have a pair up here from uh, my buddy Aaron Watson, not the country singer. And I also uh, have seen other ones in the past, like a kangaroo one in 2020. And I was pretty excited to find this one on shopgoodwill.com. So let's break down all of the features in the rundown. All right, so this is a Nakona boot, model number 8506E, and it is all black, and it feels like it could be a calfskin. It's a very soft, thin leather. It could also be kangaroo, but it doesn't feel like as papery as kangaroo can be, so I'm guessing a calfskin. It also features the classic J-toe. It's a little bit more pointed round than the medium round, also known as the R-toe. The J-toe is one that you're not gonna find very much out in stores. I'm sure it will eventually become popular again, but uh, online, eBay, Shop Goodwill is some of the best places to find a J-toe. It's a beautiful toe shape, definitely underrated. These boots are also coming in at 13 inches tall. It also has a one and a half inch stacked leather heel with heel caps that actually need replacing. And I'll talk more about that later. Down here, you'll also see a leather outsole. It looks like the original leather outsole uh, and that somebody was probably using this boot to dance a lot based off of those circles there in the middle of the boot. I never like buying boots that have been resold because once they've been resold, you don't know how many times they've been resold. So if I ever see a half sole, like a slit in the middle here, I'm gonna pass so quickly on those boots no matter how much they cost because if you get a boot that's been worn for 10 years, it's gonna feel like it's not your pair of boots, right? This one hasn't been uh, worn for 10 years straight, had six resoles or anything. It looks like it's still fairly new here on the outsole. Um, and that's the kind of boot that I like to look for. And I'm guessing that because it still has wood pegs down here alongside the shank, and there's a lot of cobblers out there, a lot, that don't use wood pegs when they're doing resoles. So if you see wood pegs in the bottom, it's not always guaranteed that they haven't been resold, but the chances are pretty high that they haven't been resold. On the inside, it's leather lined all the way through, and of course it has that hard leather insole. This is a traditionally made Nakona, so when you get a used boot with a hard leather insole, you might actually feel the impression of the previous owner's foot in there, which might you know, creep you out a little bit, but eventually that hard leather will reshape to your foot. So you just gotta wear them, and uh, that's part of what comes with a lower price tag, right? You're not buying a brand new pair and molding them to your own foot. Uh, you're, you're buying a used pair, and at $27.65, uh, that's what I got these for on shopgoodwill.com. It's a reasonable negative, right? I mean, that's pretty cheap. These are also made in the USA Nakonas. And I believe they closed their US factory in 1999. So these are probably pre 2000 boots right here. All right, now let's try them on and see how they look and feel. All right, I got the Nakona j boots on right now. And this is a size 11D, so it's just a touch small for me. Technically, I'm a size 12B, so I have a narrow foot, but 
narrow widths are tough to come across, especially on eBay and Shop Goodwill and places like that. I mean, I find them, but uh, it's much more easy to find an 11D. So this is just a touch small for me, especially in the toes with it being a J toe. Uh, but it seems like the previous owner had the same problem. I would definitely uh, prefer to have a 12B, but the calf leather is also really soft and supple at the same time. It stretches really well. So it's not like something uh, like a bull hide or a stingray would be where it's gonna be really, really uncomfortable. You can, you can get away with a slightly small boot if it's like calf skin or something like that. The hard leather insole with this being a traditionally made boot is something I, I prefer, especially when it comes to slightly used boots because that gives the boot a chance to reshape to your foot. That leather will continue to break in uh, no matter who has the boot and no matter what shape it's breaking in around. So uh, it gives you a chance to make a boot your own when you get it secondhand. Some of these ones with the removable insoles, not so much. Uh, it just doesn't feel the same as a traditionally made uh, boot. Here's the POV for you folks out there interested in trying a little bit different of a toe shape. It's classic. You can't go wrong with a J toe. I think it's such a good look. So unfortunately, I think these boots are just a little bit too small for me, uh, which I kind of had a feeling that they were going to be. And that's okay. That's part of the fun of this is that sometimes you get boots and then you sell them again. So uh, if you guys are interested in this, I might eventually put it up on my eBay. The link is in the description. But I also want to try to change out the heel caps first. I haven't done a video on that, and it's something that I really wanna focus on eventually because I know you guys have some questions about when to replace heel caps. This heel cap is a little bit worn down too much. The heel cap is already worn down to the point where you're almost walking on the leather. It's kind of tough to see too because the previous owner put some edge dressing on here or some black polish to make it shine and look nice on, on the heel, which I do all the time too. I'm not holding it against the previous owner. It just makes it more difficult to see the heel cap wear, especially with the pictures on shopgoodwill.com. Guys, I love that website to find cool boots, but the pictures are awful, just so you know. So a lot of times you're taking, you're taking a chance on some of these boots, like I was taking a chance on these, but for $27, it's just fun. It's just the hobby of it. Um, also, another thing to know with shopgoodwill.com, if you do end up searching for boots there and, and end up winning a pair on a, with a winning bid, they also take forever to ship. They don't ship fast and their pictures suck and they don't care, which is fine because you can find some really cheap boots there. It's definitely wild west on shopgoodwill.com, which makes it fun. So overall, I highly recommend older Nakonas, guys. If you find them online someplace for a good deal, and remember, you're gonna want the original outsoles as well, if you can tell, if it's tough to tell, always look at the pictures of the outsole. It tells the whole story of the boot. If you come across a listing that doesn't have a picture of the outsoles, don't buy it because it's too, too risky. You gotta see a little bit of the outsole to know the story of a boot. And when you see the outsole of a used, a slightly used Nakona on one of these websites, definitely consider it as long as it's looking good because those old Nakonas are badass. Let me know what you think of old Nakonas down in the comments and shopping for slightly used boots online. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and I will be making another video with this pair of boots about replacing heel caps. So look out for that as well. See you guys around. Peace. Those old Nakonas are always built bold and they always look great with that J-toe. Yes. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other pair of slightly used Nakonas I found. They're kangaroo pair. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Yes. Peace. Have a good one.